A sitting president infected by a potentially lethal virus a month before Election Day. But from his doctor... This morning, the president is doing very well. The president's true condition in question after a person close to the situation, said to be his chief of staff, Mark Meadows, told reporters Donald Trump, sick with COVID-19, was not out of danger. Trump waking up at Walter Reed Military Hospital, where he was flown Friday as a precautionary measure. Thursday, he had a mild cough and some nasal congestion and fatigue, all of which are now resolving and improving. In the president's own words, going well, I think, he tweeted. Earlier, he was given a shot of the experimental drug remdesivir. The quote he, he left us with was, I feel like I could walk out of here today, and, and that was a very encouraging comment from the president. But his doctor not getting into specifics. Has he ever been on supplemental oxygen? He, right now, he is not on I understand. oxygen. I know you keep saying That's right now. So he has not been on it during this his COVID treatment? He's, he's not on oxygen right now. <laughs> Finally, he said... Thursday, no oxygen, none at this moment. Yeah, and yesterday with the team, uh, while, while we were all here, he was not on oxygen. Leaving open the possibility the president may have had trouble breathing while at the White House. He also seemed to suggest Trump got a positive test earlier than previously known. Just 72 hours into the diagnosis now. That could mean Trump was diagnosed as early as Wednesday. But the world only learned the American president was COVID positive overnight Thursday, after he had shared a debate stage with Joe Biden, after rallying supporters in Minnesota with little physical distancing and few wearing masks, and after traveling to New Jersey for a fundraiser. The doctor later clarifying his comments, saying he meant it's a day three of the diagnosis. Meadows reportedly said Trump's vitals were very concerning over the last 24 hours and the next two days will be critical in terms of his care. For City News, I'm Karen Seolin.